Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and I'm a victim of circumstance because I've been watching, once again, the 2012 Three Stooges film. And, of course, you're probably going to naturally want to ask me, Johnny, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> and, uh, you know, certainly, I mean... There is probably something wrong with me if I'm actually really liking the movie. Uh, because, you know, as I said in my review of it, it was a stinking turd. I mean, this was not a good movie overall. But it was a fun movie. It did make me laugh time and time again. And the more I watch it, you know, the thing that stands out the most to me is the three guys they cast to portray those characters of the Three Stooges, Mo Larry and Curly, Chris Diamantopoulos, Sean Hayes, and Will Sasso. And this is kind of an addendum to my review and a follow-up to, you know, I mean, back when I first started on YouTube, one of my first videos was actually a sort of first impressions and just airing my preconceptions and anxieties about what they were going to do to make this film. I think since the film has been out, people might have actually uh, assumed that was a review of it with all the views that, you know, it has accrued on it. But, you know, I since have recorded a review, and as I say, in it I passed the movie off as a stinking turd. But what I did hone in on was the fact that I was just uber impressed by these three guys portraying these characters that the original actors portrayed. And that's the thing you have to realize, you know, it was Mo Howard, Jerome Howard as Curly, and Larry Fine. They were actors, they were comedians, came from vaudeville, and, you know, on screen, you're not seeing the real them. You're seeing characters as portrayed by them. And the thing about these three actors in the 2012 film is, for me, I have seen in all you know, the history of watching anything Stooges related, people who have mimicked them, people who have tried to mimic them. You had the uh, Mel Gibson produced The Three Stooges Story, which was a sort of, you know, TV docudrama about their history. And while those actors were passable playing the different, you know, incarnations of the Stooges, the thing that I am always finding with the Stooges and copycats and people doing homages and stuff like that is they don't get it. They don't get the timing. They don't get the rhythm. They don't get it. It's almost like musical notes. The slapstick and physical comedy, as well as the commentary comedy on societal things, on, you know, uh, monetary things and governmental things, all of those kind of things were topics that the Stooges handled in a little bit more of a subtle way than, say, the Mark Bro Marx Brothers or something. But on screen, I have seen no more just expert and miraculous portrayal of the timing and the essence of the Three Stooges than those three guys in the 2012 film. And it makes me really pine over the fact that the movie was actually so crappy because I would actually love to see more of those guys doing those characters in maybe a film length of like three shorts, like actual shorts instead of one long sort of drawn out story. It would have been fun to actually have seen, you know, three shorts in that vein of what the original Stooges did. And it just, it really, you know, watching the movie again, yeah, it's still crap, but it is funny. I mean, I, I get a kick out of it. I just love their portrayal of the Stooges and wish, I kind of wish that we could have gotten more of them playing the Stooges, a sequel or something of shorts and whatever. And just kind of wanted to air that frustration because... It's one of those rare things where, you know, over time, I'm liking it better, and I'm thinking, wow, what could have been, you know? So, yeah, I wanted to air that, and I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you think, uh, you know, in reaction to the film, or if you love the original Stooges. What are your favorite shorts and stuff like that? And otherwise, I hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you later. Peace.